Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the image of an icon. I'm going to use the noun project as it's a big collection of plain black icons and you might want to change the colour of the icon if you're wanting to create some graphics like a seamless repeating background or maybe even just an app icon. So first off you're just going to want to import your um, icon in. I'm using Affinity Designer 2 here for iPad. And once I've imported it in, I select that layer and choose Effects, and I'll ch click that Color Overlay button. So once I've done that, I can actually just choose any color from that um, menu at the top there, and it will just update accordingly. There are a few different ways you can change the, um, the colors. So there's different sliders available and different swatches available, and you can actually create your own swatches if you have some commonly used colors that sort of fit with your brand. So you can even enter a hex code if you wanted to. So you can see that my icon is changing color like that, um, but you might want to do other things as well, such as you might want to use a gradient to sort of hit, give your um, icon a bit more oomph and make, make it stand out. So if you want to do that, just untick color overlay, and then you're going to want to tick gradient overlay. And then you can select what sort of um, gradient you want. I've choose, chosen elliptical. And then you can choose those colors just by um, selecting from that top menu there. And the different circles, when you click on those, will give you the option to change the color. So I've changed mine to a nice pink and blue. And then um, what you can do is you can also just change what type, whether it's like radial or anything like that. You can also adjust the scale X and scale Y, and that will just adjust the um, how much of a certain color is showing through, and you can get it looking exactly the way you want it in that way. I'll just cycle through those different options. So we've got radial, conical, elliptical, and linear. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today, and if you have, please like and subscribe for more content. I hope to bring more Affinity Designer 2 tutorials.